Volvo Cars has great hopes of the new Volvo C30 electric that is now being tested in Sweden. These cars contain advanced measuring equipment that amongst other things will provide valuable knowledge about how different driving and charging routines affect the lithium-ion battery and its serviceable life in an electric car. We see a very, very strong interest uh, in uh, Europe but also in other countries in the world uh, for electric vehicle and um, we have now started the pre-series and we will start with volume production in the beginning of next year. For Volvo, safety in a car is just as important as caring for the environment, which is why they have also carried out many careful tests in order to find the optimum location for the large high-tension battery. I think the electric vehicle is here now. It's basically the third attempt, but due to the development of technology, and particularly the lithium-ion batteries, I'm absolutely sure that with the range that we now can give the customer, this car is now a practical vehicle in the city commuting situation. This car has a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour and acceleration from 0 to 100 in just over 10 seconds. The total driving range on a single charge is 150 kilometers, which is in fact considerably less than what 90% of daily commuters drive. A lot of people don't drive more than that. I think the average about 75% of all daily driving needs in Europe are below 50 km and uh, people will adapt. I mean, uh, you use it for your commuter uh, traffic, for your uh, shopping, for your going to the city and friends. Richard Bremner, who is the editor of Clean Green Cars in the UK, thought it a good idea that Volvo had chosen to develop its first electric car based on an existing model. By this means, both high safety performance and good comfort are already dealt with. Well, I, I think the C30 particularly is quite an interesting car to use for this because it, the car is packaged in electric form as a city commuter car, but the C30 is a coupe, it's very attractive. You'd be very happy to be driving around town in a car that looked like that with the convenience features that it's got. So I think it could work quite well. One of the major advantages is, of course, that an electric car is also amazingly cheap to drive. We're talking about running costs of approximately three euros per 100 kilometers, which means about a third of the cost compared to diesel. Another advantage is also the fact that this car can be charged from a completely normal electrical wall outlet. There are also other positive advantages compared to diesel or petrol driven cars. There are a few differences that really positively surprise you as a driver. First, there, are, there is much better comfort. There is no vibration in the car. I mean, obviously, there is no uh, internal combustion engine. So the t car take off and the comfort, it's very much more steady on, on the road. Plus, there's a very smooth and nice acceleration. An electric engine gives you the power immediately. Most people agree that electric cars will represent a major share of future motoring which is why Volvo will now allow normal families to test these electric cars in order to investigate how driving habits change. How will the family use an active family uh, which have you know, children, they maybe have animals, maybe a dog or something like that, how will they use the car in an everyday life and, and also in a suburban climate? So that is something that we need to, that we need to know much more about today. And, and I think that's the, probably the major part. And of course, uh, we are early when it comes to electrification of cars at Volvo, and we are very proud of that. So, you know, breaking new ground is important, but we need to know that everything we do is right.